Hmm. What's around here? Badu, Resilia. A Burmy. What's beyond here? Only place we haven't been is Cloudcat Pass. We also haven't, uh... Have we gone completely down the river? I get choice dumplings. Oh, thank you. Oh. Well, let's report our findings.
Oh, well that was quick. Oh, we're we're nearly there. You quelled Lord Electrode? Splendid job as always, my boy. Let's be off to the village then. Time to report to Commando Kamado. Hi. Every time I'm in trouble, you turn up, just like clockwork. That's right, Wanda's missing again. Please help me find my lost sister. Hmm. It's the huge. That this will be for another episode, of course. Oh, if it isn't the Survey Corps recruit who quelled the Lord of the Isles. Has Troy sent you to do the negotiating for him again? Crunchy salt, the coronet, the coronet highlands finest feature. So let's go talk to Choi real quick. Hmm. Ah, he said I took his treasure, did he? That's one way to put it, but the story's not so simple. Please believe me for now that it's nothing you ought to worry about. Yay! What else do we got? 
Oh yeah, all these. You know, people are afraid of Mistrevis because of how it apparently wails at night. But getting a good look at it really put, gives me for some fresh perspective. Look how it billows and flays and sw sways and flows. Wait, that's it? That's all too? Yay! What else? That's what I needed for Scizor. And I got a Razor Fang. I must have gotten that from Gliscor or something. Sweet. But real quick. Let's go continue with the story real quick to learn stuff. So Warden Millie believes that the frenzies of these Pokemon are some sort of trial set by the almighty Sinnoh. We cannot know if that is the case or not, but it does best beg the question. Why ever would this almighty Sinnoh drive the nobles to frenzy? Is it anchored by something, or does it seek to drive a wedge between people and Pokemon? Well, far be it from us humans to fathom the thoughts of Pokemon. And what is that space-time rift anyway? What caused it to open? I ain't don't. After this, we've only got one more area to look into, but I'm likely going to do that tomorrow. <laughs> Dinner's on Kamado tonight. Eat your fill. Very true. Well, I've heard talk that our progress surveying Pokemon has made gathering ingredients a less wondrous, or at least less dangerous, task. It's almost like a fairy tale, isn't it? How you've fallen to us from the sky and gone on to help the people of history so much. 
Indeed, taking on such perilous duties has earned you a great deal of trust, Loyal. It's like I always say, behavior is a mirror that reflects one's true nature. You let your actions do the speaking for you, Loyal, and the message is clear as day. It doesn't matter one whit where you came from. You're part of the Survey Corps in Jubilee Village now. Isn't it nice getting up early? Is it? It's not as if getting up early changes what you can do with the day. Yes, it does. It opens up possibilities, such as responding to Commander Kamado's invitation today in a timely manner. Well, I got the same invitation, and I had to wake up even earlier than you to run all the way here for it. Come on, no need to grouch so much over a nice little early wake-up. Are you coming too? I'm sure we can all guess what the Commander wants with us. Yes, do come. Galaxy Hall is quite close anyway. Can do. You've now quelled the f frenzy of four nobles. It wasn't easy. When the word of these frenzies arrived from all over Hisui, I feared what would become of us. But here we are, already preparing to quell the final noble. Yeah, who would have dreamed some stranger who tumbled out of, the, out of the sky would be our salvation? Life never does stop surprising you. The only lord left to be quelled is Avalug, which lives in the Alabaster Icelands. He is also the largest of the nobles, according to what Ar uh, Arita told me. Your mission is to quell Avalug, the final lord. And perhaps in doing so, we may trigger some change in the space-time rift as well. Avalug may be the Pearl Clan's noble, but my clan and galaxy team will have to step up to resolve this too, for the sake of a brighter future. Then let us all meet in the cold reaches of the Alabaster Icelands. Until then. No matter how many of these frenzied Pokemon you may quell, the fact remains that you are a stranger to our world. No small number of people still re uh, still regard you with suspicion and distrust. The most you can hope for is to gain the trust of as many as possible, and to do that, you must prove yourself through the ac your actions. Gah! Oh my god. <laughs> you know, I was joking about a Wurmple scaring the socks off of him. <clears throat> so, you have to survey the Alabaster Icelands next. This is the most treacherous climb you'll face in all history. It will not be an exaggeration to say that you might be the only one among the Survey Corps I can task with surveying the Alabaster Icelands. You know your orders. See your mission through. Actually, I, I might give the Alabaster Icelands a look, but I'm not going to do the story until tomorrow. Now let's see what tasks we have. Oh boy. Oh, dear customer, I'm sorry you had to see that. I asked how Huo to supply me with some new goods, but he simply won't do business with me. I truly hate to keep him posing like this, but would you please try to make him see reason? Sand radishes, okay.
I have a Curlia. Ooh, I got a male and female. I know I said I'd do these quests next time, but I might as well do what I can right now. Mm hmm? Yeah. I knew you'd agree. You'd want to dress up in your favorite color, don't you? I want to make clothing in new colors, but I can't quite get a hold of the right materials. Red shards, blue shards, and green shards. Oh boy. Ah, I don't have any green ones. I need I need a green one at least. One green one. I've come up with the perfect pickle recipe thanks to Geodude. Aren't you curious? You bet I am. Two hunks of crunchy salt, two pots of plump beans, and two bunches of king's leaf. So Cobalt Coastlands. What else? Got a new got one more new request. We got I'm telling you, Burmy is a Pokemon with a cloak made of leaves. No, no, Burmy cloaks are made of minerals like sand and rock. I'm quite sure of it. Ha, huh, if it ain't covered in trash, it ain't a Burmy. Ah, this conversation's getting us nowhere. Are you sure both are you both sure you've actually seen a Burmy before? It wasn't some other Pokemon? We might ask you the same thing. I've seen Burmy here in Hisui, and I've seen them back in my own region too, and guess what? They're all covered in trash. Oh my, you must have gotten confused somehow, my dear. Please, both of you, we're just repeating the same arguments over and over at this point. Hey, if you're from the you're from the Survey Corps, aren't you? We could figure out which one of us is right pretty quick if someone brought us an actual Burmy. Catch one and come short to us, would you? I've only caught two types, it seems. Yep, this is a Burmy, all right. It's similar to you, I'll grant you that, but this must be a different species. Yeah, I ain't buying it. This ain't a Burmy. <laughs> oh boy.
Take a good look, both of you. This little one is the real Burmy. Uh, I guess it looks pretty similar, but there's no way this is a Burmy. Yeah, I gotta agree. Where's the trash at, huh? Hey, you two. So, where to make for the Alabaster Icelands? I see. Of course, I'm all too aware of the injuries done to some of our own good people because of the frenzies of the other nobles. They seem little choice but to intervene. But this Avalog out in the Alabaster Icelands hasn't harmed a soul, so I, as I hear it. Does it really behoove us to go out of our way to subdue him? If Avalanche is great and mighty as they say, he could very well cause avalanches. Avalanches don't require any Pokemon's help. They occur perfectly well on their own, you know. I confess I still have my doubts whether we should even be getting involved in this case. No damage has been sun done so far, but if we send Loyal out there, we'll be putting him in danger of real harm. But if the Lord is suffering in this frenzy like people say, then wouldn't it be kinder to quell it? There's simply so much we yet don't yet understand when it comes to the noble Pokemon. We don't know whether their frenzies truly are causing them to suffer, nor do we know why they enter these states in the first place, or if this is all connected somehow to the space-time rift. What is it, I wonder, that the commander hopes that will come about from our quelling the nobles? Or indeed, from surveying any of the Pokemon of this land? What is it he hopes to achieve? I certainly hope so. The goal of my research is to help build a future where everyone gets along with Pokemon. Professor Lavinson? Ah, nothing to bother yourselves about. Doubtless, I'm just being a silly sausage. You've got a mission to carry out, haven't you, Loyal? Then we will support you in it. The best support I can offer you now is another chance to practice your battle skills. Believe you me, I'm gonna win. The fact that I've been able to grow so much as a Survey Corps member and work together with Pikachu is due to you joining us.
Don't worry, I'll be careful. I just have other things to do. Hey, there's another wisp over there. I saw a Togekiss around here somewhere. I saw something flying. I swear I did. I hope I'm not just going crazy. That's the one. I can't believe I just caught that. See, I know what I'm doing. Oh, uh, yeah, over here. Hell yeah! I see what's going on here.
I knew this was not going to be a good idea. You say that while it's raining. Gladly. What else we got? Well, yeah. Aw, that's actually kind of sweet. <gasps> no way. Oh, you are a savior. Oh, you are an absolute savior. Thank you. Oh, real quick. Oh. So, in order for this thing to evolve, I have to have it use Bar Barrage 20 times. So, let's see what else I got. Alright, Cobalt Coastlands, Cobalt Coast Coastlands. Where'd she go?
No problem. It does always face north, doesn't it? Well, you know, it happens. Now we can go report. Yeah, we can go report back to Zeke. Cobalt Coastlands and Cobalt Coastlands. <laughs> well now. It is kind of sweet that I'm looking out for her, isn't it? <coughs> Perfect. I remember you. I'll give it a go. Damn it. This is hard. That's harder than it looks.
Ooh. Got it. Here you go. Oh, now that's a Burmian, no mistake. Huh? I don't know about that. Indeed, this Pokemon is no Burmy. Well, we've all seen each other's supposed real Burmy, but we're no closer to agreeing on anything. Nothing else for it. Let's have Professor Lavender decide. The Burmy he chooses to put in the Pokedex will be considered the real Burmy. So that's how it is. It seems all our Burmy are indeed, well, Burmy. All three of them. So you're saying that Pokemon of the same species can come in forms as different as these? How incredible! I guess that means we were all in the right? Looks like we wasted our breath arguing. Jeez, well I'm sorry I was so harsh to both of you. No, no, I'm just as much as fault. at fault. For real, this whole, this whole escapade has taught us a lot about Pokemon. I'm truly glad. I apologize for getting a little heated back there too, but it all turned out well in the end. And sorry for getting you caught up in our mess, you did a great job clearing up our confusion. Now then, I'm feeling fired up to learn even more about Pokemon. If you find any other curious Pokemon, we'd love to hear about them. Yay! What do we got left? The Seed Legend, Colorful New Looks, and New Wares yet again. So, uh, Sydney Field Lands and here. Ah, yes. Sitting in the field lands. All right. Hey.
should have known this would happen. Oh, come on. Yeah, no kidding. I'm gonna stick around until a space-time distortion appears. I need that green shard. I found a sunstone while digging with this guy. I'll just dig around and until the space-time distortion forms. The field lands rush by Underhoof as Weirdo carries me astride. Companions of mine run with us and Pokemon dash alongside. We come to stand where wind has swept and old age play before my eyes. The memories come running through, linking t this place to times gone by. Time and space here blend together and enfold my heart as I remember. Well that's very sweet. Six remaining. Once there was a god of field, and once there was a god of spring, Un upon Hisui's winds it wheeled, brought life to every growing thing. Where do you go? Where you go, you when you are not here? Asked I one day the god of spring. No answer would it give me clear, but still uh, did I have an inkling. There is no great dark truth untold. It simply does not like the cold.